welcome to the Zane Frame. What's up, guys and gals? Welcome back to another episode of the Zane Frame. So we're... Oh, there's fire. Alright, we got fire. We got rain. There's a song about that. Oh, oh. Uh, that village is on fire. Okay. I think this... This happened in the past. Because, like, when you loaded into this area, it said three years ago. Oh, okay. Nope. That's my robot arm. I'm pretty sure. I mean, it is. Huh. Are we time traveling? I don't know. Is fall damage a thing? Oh. There we go. Is fall damage a thing? Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, but it didn't say death. That's... Oh, you... Uh... Oh, so it's like a platformer. Okay. Uh, yeah, is that when you fall, it doesn't kill you, but it reduces your HP. That's cool. That's fine. I can oh. work with that. I would like to see an in-universe explanation for that, but sure. I mean, it, it's it's game... Um... <gasps> oh my god. Okay. Yeah, you know what you're gonna have to do here. <laughs> yes! Oh! I love it! I love everything about it. <laughs> There's another one. <laughs> That's awesome! Okay. Sekiro, please don't fuck anything up because I really fucking <laughs> like you right now. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, this might be the first From game that actually encourages you to take some fucking risks every now and then. That's a good point, yeah. Instead of creeping around each corner terrified. There's a guy right there. I know. I saw him. He was crossing the bridge. He has no, a door. Oh, that guy. I did not see him. He was not crossing a bridge. In fact, he was not. <laughs> Uh, oh, okay. language. <laughs> oh my god, I'm just still so fucking happy about that. <laughs> that is so cool! <laughs> oh! The divine... What? That's a great question. The divine heir. That's what we started with. That's the guy. That's the kid. I know! Remember when the the sculptor was like, you've been asleep for a time? Yeah. This is three years ago, mm. and this dude is telling me to go on the mission that started this whole thing. Yeah. See? There you go. So maybe I was asleep for a couple years. I don't believe so. Uh, Old memory. I don't remember any of this. It's the bell stirred a memory inside of him. Hmm. You know I like my you you know I like me some outlandish theories. Yeah. I fucking held you hostage while I talked about my My Hero Academia theories. Oh man, you could have snuck up on him and assassinated him. I know, I didn't crouch. But I still, for all intents and purposes, snuck up on him and assassinated him. Yeah, he didn't really uh <laughs> That's the story well. I'll be telling at the bar later. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're gonna hear is that I totally wrecked that guy's shit. That was amazing. Let's see, can I? Maybe not. I will say, can I hang off the bridge? And mm, yeah, because there is—it's it's just an open fucking space. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> yeah, well, when in Rome. Oh man, his meter didn't even try and fill. Shit. Okay. Oh yeah, status facts. All right. There we go. Hey, everything's okay over here. Dowsing powder. Heals the burn status abnormality. And also pre uh, prevents the building of the burn status for a time. Oh, I gotta remember to um, kill people before they, they yell. Yeah. Well, I'm still in Dark Souls cautious mode, you know? Oh, so I, yeah. like to, I like to stand back, kind of assess my enemy and everything. Right. Here, let me, if, if everybody's using torches, let's go ahead and put that on... And hopefully that'll hold even when I use one of them. Yeah, there we go. For a little okay. bit, of, uh, for a little while, it gives you a deep. Uh, yeah, it is already liberating just to have two instead of one. Well, this looks like it would have been an excellent stealth option. Yep. <laughs> Unfortunately, that is not the reality we're living in right now. Don't forget your whirlwind slash. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. That's why I said don't forget. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> Come on, doggo. I'm a cat person anyway. <laughs> Which is true, but I do not advocate violence against canines. Animals in To be general. honest. Are you like I am? Like, I can watch 
well, this is kind of a poor way of phrasing it because people are going to think I'm a psychopath, which I'm kind of the opposite of, if anybody knows me. But um, I cry at everything. Yeah. I, I cry when I need to replace a toaster because I've already bonded with it and it has its own personality and it makes me sad to get rid of something like that. Yep. Anyway, is that I could watch human beings get killed all day, but if an animal gets hurt, I'm, um, I'm out. I can't. It fills me with nothing but rage and sadness. My love, my anger, and all of my sorrow. And then you cast, you know, shining or exploding burning finger. I can't remember the final form of it. God, I love you. Um, <laughs> that <was, laughs> series was awesome. It was. Actually, um, a friend of mine. Do you remember Philip? Erupting burning Which finger. Is, erupting burning finger. There we go. Well... Is is the original one was Shining Finger? Yeah, and then at some arbitrary point, it yeah, was Burning, Burning, Burning Finger. Finger. If you watched it lately, at least the dub, mm -hmm. which is what I watched because it was on Toonami. Yeah, like like everyone in our generation. Yep. Um, a friend of mine whose name I already used, so whatever. He didn't talk to me much anyway lately. Anyway, mm. um, we tried to watch it again, and yeah. it, the. The story and everything is still good. It is possibly one of the worst dubbing jobs I have ever seen from a mainstream anime. Mm -hmm. It's bad. Like, I didn't notice it at the... Oh, Akko Sugar now. Boost attack power. Oh, okay. So the Sugar boost... and take the Akko stance to wreck shit. Damn. <laughs> Sounds good. Oh, wait, I can't! You need to remember to sneak. I know. <laughs> I, I was prepared to mount the, uh, a, a defense against that. Yeah. But <laughs> it's a whole new game with different mechanics, and I really need to learn how to play, how to play things. It's well, can we not keep locked on to the thing that's not killing me? Thank you. Get over here. Ha <laughs> ha. go. See, when I can do stuff like that, it tends, I tend to, no. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that contextual stuff's gonna get annoying. Yeah. It's, it's because I can fight my way out of things that I typically go with that, because it requires the least amount of thinking. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm trying to be better about my self-esteem, and I, I will say I'm not a stupid man, but I am an impatient one. And let's be honest, just running up and stabbing people is the quickest way to get things done. Usually rewarding, too. Very. <laughs> Depending on the person. Oh! Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Is that how we're playing it? Is that how we're playing it? Okay! <laughs> like that. That was extremely satisfying. I dare say better than sex. <laughs> Alright. I got a drink thrown in my face one time because of that. Uh, I think you told me about that. Yeah, I don't know if I've said it on the show, though. Mm -hmm. um, uh, one, uh, uh, this requires a bit of background. My friends and I, especially in college, had a game, would play a game of uh, who can win the thrift store. So while we were just generally getting clothes and whatnot that we actually need, we would also look for amazing, interesting items and just see who found the best one. And once upon a time, my, uh, well, now ex, she found uh, Therapy the Game. The game pieces are little couches. It's kind of like a combination between life and trivial pursuit, and it's it but it's all psychology theme. From psychology trivia to just people talking about their feelings and being able to predict what people will say. It's pretty fun. But um one of the questions was like rank these it was in regards to me, and it was like rank these three things according to what you desire the most. And it was, like, uh, food, sex, and something else. So, as you can already tell, something else was third place. Didn't fucking matter. Um, and then by the rules of the game, I, like, left the room so everybody could discuss it and everything. And when I could have sworn I could get into these buildings, but I guess not. Apparently not, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I went to the other room and uh, had my list and... They stayed in the room with the game board and had their list. And as I came out of the other room, when they were like, all right, we're ready, uh, they had guessed sex, food, something else. 
I will mention right now that my ex, and this is not why she's my ex, but, um, they, they had all thought sex was top of the list. It was not. Food is the top of my list. And I apologize to all former and future lovers, but I really like food. Sex is great. Don't get me wrong. Sex is fantastic. But fuck me. I re nothing gets my senses just jiving like a good meal. Like something that just tastes really good. Kind of like the whole diabetes thing sucks. But, um... Yeah. Uh, they thought sex, including my ex. <laughs> So, uh, she heard what my responses were, uh, threw her drink in my face, and left. Not just left the room, she left the party. We didn't talk for two days. Which I thought was unwarranted. It didn't mean that I didn't like the sex with her. It just meant that I prefer food over sex with anybody. I, I, are you kidding me? Like, if I could have Kobe beef, if I could have Kobe beef, or sex with a young Allison Hannigan, who has been my crush for, like, years... But she's older now, and also she's got a husband and children, so that kind of ruined the mood. <laughs> you know, so like, slightly like Buffy-era Allison Hannigan, maybe later. Um, yeah, between that and having a free meal with, like, Kobe beef, and and just, uh, well, my views are kind of skewed now with the diabetes and everything, but, like, uh, consequence-free carbs and everything? Oh, God, the, the meal. The meal. Every fucking time. Every fucking time. That's just who I am. I mean, I... my take on it is that, you know, despite common parlance, there are certain sex acts that will not actually sustain you, whereas food kind of keeps you alive, so. I'm, I did not even think about that. I'm really hoping just one person noticed me. Uh, or nope, it just made them all kind of aware. Okay. Yeah. Well, now, uh, now they know okay. there. Is he, no, hold on, I want to watch those yellow arrows. Yeah, he called them. I know, but look, they're still yellow. They're not red. Oh, I see what you're saying. I'm, I'm, I'm testing out what this game does. Let's see. In the meantime, I noticed this guy. Yep. I mean, they all probably know I'm here now. Hey, what? What? That was weird. That was very weird. I was trying to kill him. He and... still died, though. That's also yeah. the odd part. But I'm just saying, I've had some pretty good sex in my life. And it... I don't know. It's it's fantastic. It's great. But when it comes to meals, it's just... <laughs> oh, what? When it comes to meals. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, dude, have you ever seen food that looks... Especially when you're hungry, and you've seen food that looks just so fucking good that you just kind of want to fuck it? Nope. No, like you're... No, <laughs> hear me. Like it's, nope. like it's like... No, hold on. It's like a weird like synesthesia. Kind of is that it's just something you desire so much and you want it that just like even like your your desires just kind of get all. Oh, I've never fucked. Food. Oh my god! <laughs> what are you this is gonna this is gonna turn into that fucking thing on that was on uh, Twitter this past this oh, past week. Yeah, you know? I've never fucked my cat. My dick uh, has never been near my cat. I've never come on my cat. Yeah. Well, I'm here to say. I've never fucked food. My dick's never been near food. I've never come on food. But, I mean, I have uh, experienced uh, not eating anything for two days. I have. And when you see not only food, but something you really fucking like after a feeling like that, you wholeheartedly love that food. And that includes kind of wanting to fuck it. I'm just saying. Right on. I'm very, <laughs> very passionate about Jack, you. can you support me here a bit? Because I feel like kind of vulnerable right now. No, I mean, I've definitely, like, had, <laughs> like, I've cooked something that has been really good. I've been like, oh, oh, man, like, that, if... That was a woman. Like, I've almost... <laughs> I almost, had a I, ring. I almost got a boner out of that. <laughs> See, yeah, that, that's, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you. Okay, there's three dudes around the fire. I've looked around. I can't see any good... Vantage points, maybe? Can I get some good high... Nope. There is no good high ground. There's not a damn wall. Thing. I'm trying... I don't think I can get on it, though. I'm pretty sure you can. Uh, maybe? Yeah. Not like that. Oh, man, it didn't kill me instantly. <laughs> this looks a lot like the like opening uh, level of... What the fuck was that? I'm glad you said it. Oh, oh. Neo? 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you look, guys. Let's see. Who? Oh, the dog should be worried Oof. about first. Did not block him. Bork! What was that? Uh, pretty sure you just threw a shuriken at him. Was that just like a well-timed shuriken, or can I just do that to all doggos? Said shurikens say that they're particularly useful against agile enemies. Like dogs oh, bouncing everywhere. Oh, you're probably right about that shit. Oh, shit, it's been 15 minutes. Okay. Woo. Well, we'll continue infiltrating this past memory, whatever. Oh, yeah. And also I'll talk about how I absolutely do not fuck food, <laughs> so don't spread any rumors. Oh, God. Next time on the same frame.